What's up, YouTubers? It's your boy, Christian Klein. I'm back with another fire announcement. Hi. Um. I don't, um. I don't know, what can I say? Well, I haven't done any work. I haven't done any work on the new music stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm not sure if I believe in the weird ritualistic shit I was doing before. Um, I kind of think I just got high and started to believe a bunch of insane stuff. Whereas once I was kind of navigating things in a, in a fairly rational way, um, I think I turned to the drug as a means of not having to, well, as a means of trying to find the answers that lie beyond. But ironically, all that ended up doing was making me lose my relationship. And uh, I don't know, it, it was uh, it was a constant, it was a constant lying more than it was the drug usage, which is what one would expect. But it, uh, It's not like the drug usage was ever a good thing anyway, which is why I think she would have been cool with it if I had told her. Uh, but she wouldn't have been cool with the amount of usage that I desired. You know, it's always about that, isn't it? Um, trying to, like, have more than you're allowed. But anyway, you know, I was really um, making an effort for that relationship before that. And it just, uh, it just became this thing where if I, if I fucked up somehow in some small way, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have her love anymore. I'd be totally rejected and she would threaten to leave, which is all because of stuff that happened early in our relationship, stuff that was my fault. And so I guess I just, it was a relationship I never, never badly wanted to be in. It was a person I never badly wanted to be with. But once it came down to it and I was at kind of rock bottom with the whole drug usage thing with our relationship, I just realized that the only thing I can do, besides, like, like, instead of being constantly, um, in consideration of what else is out there, the only thing I can do is, the only smart thing to do is just to cling to her. So I did, but I didn't stop using drugs. And, uh, that's just all, it's a long way to say that, like, the things that the influence of marijuana showed me, the things that it put in my mind aren't untrue, but they were all, it was all there to tell me about the exact framework, which I ultimately offended against and lost her because of that offense. Um, so I have nothing now. I, I have like good things in my life that I'm grateful for. And I, and I know that if I don't show gratitude for what I have and treat it like it's a fucking, like it's all like golden treasure that I, uh, I'll lose it. I guess I've learned all my lessons all at once, but, uh, yeah. So part of that whole process of like having this very like magical ritualistic way of thinking, the thing that guided me on um, posting a lot and becoming a much better musician as a result, uh, part of that whole process, part of that whole set of things was like you have to cling to Sarah and that's that's all there is and she's like your meaning and everything like that and uh I can't like that's like the thing that like I really like I can't let go of and I don't know why like I'm not I'm not a fucking weirdo um I'm obviously like a good looking enough guy I think I'm good looking I have a monitor there I'm a good looking guy I have talent um I'm interesting and funny and all, like, there's nothing that puts me below 
other men, essentially, uh, in the whole world of looking for a woman, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I, but every time, every time I go and I think about trying to be with someone else other than her, or trying any other life other than the one where I'm still trying to get back with her, it feels like devil worship. It sounds like devil worship. It sounds like sin. And so I don't, I don't know what's coming up for me. I just don't really know that it's going to be all this high production stuff. I'm in a lot of despair and I'm basically just wrestling with my own flaws. And uh, I just know that this is the best path, is that is still trying to, trying to get her back. As fucking stupid and gay as that is, trying to get her back, like what the fuck? What kind of fucking weasel, pathetic faggot have I become? And that's something that I'm actually saying unironically. 24 years old, I have my whole life ahead of me. And I'm in this woman who, you know, never really uh, managed to love me very well at all. And just kind of forced me into these ways of being this very dominant person. I'm going to try to get her back. But I... She became the worst version of herself. She had her flaws and she became the worst version of herself progressively the more that I fucking lied to her. And I just know that I failed at my responsibility to pull her into the light, which is what a man is there for, for a woman. And, um, she'll just go and, <laughs> she'll go and wear her leopard skin pillbox hat, in the words of Bob Dylan. She'll go into that world of darkness now, and, uh, end up getting completely fucked. And probably never see it, because women don't see it. Men see it, and they keep women from falling into that world, or they pull them into that world further, like I did for years. <sighs> she won't see it, and she'll just be tossed around. Nothing's gonna matter. Hooray.